Hi guys, welcome to this uh, game 14 with Matt. So we had a few days break, um, but we're, we're back on it now, so yeah, let's begin. So obviously I'll swap sides now to Axis. Um, I think I was, yeah, Matt beat me last time as Axis, so I want to try and uh, get a win here. <laughs> get some revenge. <laughs> so, okay. It's been, honestly, it's been a while since I played Axis. It's, uh, okay, we'll do the usual, I guess. Tank build. A few bits of. Okay, we're a bit of a, more of a mixed bag on that one actually. Mainly tanks, obviously, but a few mixed ones in there. Okay, so come over. The biggest move in any uh, any rank game. <laughs> Germany's first uh, combat move. Right, so these got to go down first. Um, let's just do this the normal way. One, two. There we go. Transports up there. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, right. Okay, he's gone for the push. That's a, I'm happy with that. So this, is, this will probably mean that I'm gonna. Do you want to take that with everything? Hmm. Okay, yeah, I'm just, just sorry, just thinking about things. Um, right, so let's move you in. Let's just do the, the, the standard moves first. So, we take you there as well. Um, hmm. I think what we'll do, because what I'm expecting to happen here, if I attack Ukraine and take it with everything, I'll throw everything I've got at it, at it and try and make the garrison as strong as I can. He'll probably counter-attack with everything he's got. Um, however, I think that's probably going to help Germany win. I think that's going to... Only quick in Russians, uh, Russia's defeat. So, I think I will do this. Actually, I will, I will go for the, the full attack with everything. Oops. So let's do this. Try and take it as cleanly as we can, and then obviously we'll have a fair bit left over. We should do anyway. Inside. Yeah, that's good to me. Okay. I kind of want to go for like a, a bit of a risky strat with... No, I can't really attack. I was going to attack this first turn, but it's a bit risky. I think I'll wait for these guys to come in first and we'll transport some lads over. So let's, for now, just take up this destroyer. Clear the uh, the waters here a little bit. We're leaving this this here. Um, so that's just a, something we have to deal with. Um, we could ship in more troops, although I think I'd rather have... We could ship in this one. Hmm. Right, let's save that for non-combat. I think what I'll do, I'll just pick up this infantry unit, because he can't really help out anyway, where he is. And um, we'll pick him up, and then we'll keep him in the area, so when we, the next turn, when we have these guys move down, we'll be able to do a bit more of a combined attack, and obviously the battleship will be to bombard as well, so we'll try and break Egypt fairly quickly here. Um, you guys are moving up. Um, I think that should be it for combat moves. I don't think there's anything else we can really do. You're all waiting to come through. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Wouldn't mind a tank up here, actually. No, let's keep everything combined. We'll keep everything in Ukraine. We'll just do like a... Yeah. A joint attack here. Um, I think then that should be it. So let's go for that. Let's see what it looks like. We've stacked all the battles for us, so we shouldn't we shouldn't really lose any of these. Although we could lose this one now. Hmm, that's very unlucky. Very unlucky. We might have a repeat of what uh, Matt had in the last game. <laughs> Matt had a terrible Germany turn in the first, uh, first go. Okay, well that was better. I'll be honest, uh, my main 
yeah, pretty big loss there. But my main objective here is to take out these two transports. It's a shame we couldn't do that. That's, uh, that's unfortunate. All right, Ukraine. I want to take this very cleanly if I can. I should all die in first go. Wish they do. Good. What's the return fire like? Not bad. Not bad. I'll take that. Pretty clean that. We've got a decent garrison there holding. If Matt attacks, he should take that though. I'm expecting him to win that fight. Um, but then obviously I'm hoping my counter attack from that will finish off Russia, the main bulk of his army. So um, that's fine with me. Um, okay, quick battleship go. Okay, there we go, nice and clean, good. So, I'd be happy with that turn if it wasn't for this. That's just a shame, because we want to get those transports out of the way early. Um, it's unfortunate they survived, but that's alright. In fact, actually, let's just get rid of these guys. Let's move, okay. One, two, three. Slight mistake here, actually. I've just noticed I've um, I've left this open to a, a blitz from this tank. It's like a bit of a mistake there, but it's alright. We'll deal with it. Let's move you guys up. Um, let's move you away, actually, as well, because I'm expecting these guys to come straight into Morocco now, the Americans. So we'll just save that in for units because he's going to get he's going to get trounced <laughs> if I don't move him. Uh, let's go. Move you guys up. Move you up as well. Get you moving. Get you moving back. Okay, we obviously are leaving France. Um, I think we should probably actually leave a bit more in here. Incoming two infantry. Let's also leave. Hmm. Maybe leave a tank in there as well. Just one tank. Add another artillery because he's got. Well, again here, he's only got three planes, but. It's an extra unit he's going to have to take out if he's going to land in here and take France. So it's still worth having that there. And it's not doing any good in Italy anyway, so we might as well have it in France. So we'll have two in there, one in Germany. Don't need that one in here either, to be fair, but we'll leave it there. Um, yeah, so not bad defense. I think actually this, this guy, we'll put him in France as well. I want to try and hold that. So we're going to have a fair bit knocking about. Two tanks, there's five fighters in the area able to hit the Ukraine. Um, a few troops here, we'll have obviously the, the tanks in here as well. So it should be a fairly solid attack. And that's not a bad defence anyway. I think I'll expect it to lose, but at least it should kill quite a few, I'd imagine. Um, but yeah, I think that should be it. Should be it. Let's double check. Okay. Drop you boys in that. There we go. So yeah, fairly happy. I think I'm happy that um, the Russians pushed forward and took the Ukraine. That's the thing that, that favours me, so that's good. So, assuming they do take this back, we're going to have a, a counter-attack with how many tanks? Eight tanks. Um, not many artillery, um, infantry, which is a shame, but we're gonna, it's going to be all firepower though. Sort of five fighters, eight tanks. And we've got a couple of units here as buffer, so yeah, we are lacking infantry on the ground, but I think it's going to be worth it to take care of all this, um, assuming this does happen. Um, Egypt's primed to be taken. Um, France looks fairly secure. I'm just got to keep an eye with the, the, the transport's range, because I can't lose Germany by mistake. Uh, yeah, looking good. I think I want to try and shore up this coastline. Um, might be good to have a few fighters knocking around, sort of, you know, Germany kind of way, so we can hit some of the sea units, because uh, this is going to be a problem very quickly now. This is obviously going to prompt Matt to go for a Germany attack rather than Japan, so I've got to be prepped for that. But no, yeah. Um, good to be back on Axis, I've got to say. I, I, do, I do enjoy both teams, but I think Axis is my favourite. I think they're easier and just more fun for me. Particularly Germany. Germany's my favourite nation. It's because their sheer power <laughs> straight from the office is great. The tanks they've got and all the, you know, they've got a lot of options and a lot of things to utilise. It's just a bit more fun to use them. But 
yeah, there we go. So I will see you for the Japanese then. Let's see what uh, Britain have done. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Well, to me, that looks pretty positive. I mean, my initial thought was this this fleet's alive, and also this one is. Um, so I'm guessing he probably went for an attack here, mate. Let's have a look, actually. Let's go see what happened. Um, combat. Huh. Oh, I see. Okay, no, never mind. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking that he went up here and failed, but actually he took out the uh, the destroyer here. Okay, fair enough. Let's just see what what combat zones. Seventeen. Okay, they lost. Mm, okay, lost one carrier and cruiser. Okay, could have been worse. Could have been better. Bit of a shame, but that's alright. It happens. The main thing is we've got so we've got this, this Japanese fleet down here, and then that transports alone now, so that's probably a good thing. Um, all right, so back on back on track. So Japan, um, right. Just thinking what to do now. Okay, this is gonna go wrong. I'm gonna go for this straight away then. It's gonna delay our move against India, but I think that's that's too. Uh... I had I think the last game me and Matt played when I was playing as Axis, um, he attacked with I think it was a four infantry stack against a, a four. No, no, it was like a five maybe attacking against a three or something. I think probably this, actually probably the same situation here, and he won the fight without any, <laughs> taking any casualties, <laughs> which completely screwed me over. So I think this time we're just going to deal with this quickly, just not you know make sure it can't cause any problems, um, and we'll do India a turn later. I think. I'm um, just thinking what to go for initially. I think we probably need to go for let's get that down. In uh, Thailand, yeah, in Thailand first of all, uh, we'll take some of these things out. Is it me or is this looking? We it is. Ah, did he ship over some troops? It looks like he, he moved some infantry units over to Egypt. Fair enough. Okay. I mean. Is actually India open for attack now? One, two, three planes, battleship. Ooh, crap. India could be open now. Ooh, hang on. One, two. God, decisions, decisions. Um. So what, let's bank some IPC for now. Let's bank it. We'll send that 15 for next time. I want to see what, how the board lays out at the end of round one. Um, so we'll just bank that for now. Um, yeah, we now have a really big decision to make. Do we try and take India on the first go? Because we've got a transport here, which can ship in these bad boys. Drop them in. We've got three fighters in the area. Two, three, four. And one, two, yeah. I mean, why would you not? <laughs> All right, I guess we try it. I mean, let's see why not. It is going to mean we're going to give uh, America the edge here, which is unfortunate. But um, I think what we're going to have to do to counter this, we're going to have to make sure we deal with this as well. Um, hang on, how the fuck can that bomber hit? Ah, oh, shame. Okay. I think we probably still try and take out the American fleet here. Um, we'll obviously lose what we attack with, but I think just to but my plan basically with Jer I'm sorry with uh, Japan now is I want to keep the Americans busy in the Pacific to try and divert their resources away from here. Um, so obviously we're going for well, it's it's going to be an attack on Germany. So anything we can do to help Germany out 
by distracting the Americans is going to be good. So I think we're going to have to just going to force them to react on this side of the thing, on this theatre. Um, so I will go for this attack. Let's do it. What's the usual attack there? Um, and see what we've got to play with now. So I'm going to go. F I really want to clear out these Americans, but I think we're going to be pretty thin on the ground. Actually, I'm just thinking as well with what we've just done with the uh, with putting industrial complex. We're going to have to be careful now because we could potentially lose. We need to make sure this is safe. So I think we probably land one, two, three, four. I think we land all our fighters here. Try and clear out some of these troops. Yeah, okay, that should be fine. So I can still go for the. Oh, this is just. I still don't think it's the best move, but it, it does it does cause me to. It does cause a distraction, obviously, because you, you it's it's looming over Manchuria, so it's uh, it gets you thinking a bit. But let's deal with this. Um, we could try and just do that, I guess. I want this dead. Yeah, fuck it, let's do it. Drop these bad boys off. Attack with you. Although we can actually probably use this plane on the mainland. Let's use this plane for this one. Bombard. Let's yeah, let's use, yeah, let's use the plane there as well. Because we've not got a lot of attacking power. We could do with some uh, some backup. Um, so. We're going to be spread pretty thin. So look, so if we get lucky, then obviously the, the only thing I really care about here is India. That's all I care about. If we take that first go, that would be fantastic. Um, we'd be very fortunate to do that. I think we've got to... I mean, the odds are in our favour, I guess. that They are in our favour. We've got, what, five? Yeah. It could go against us though, and it could be costly if it does, because he's only losing infantry if we do lose, and we're losing planes. But it's worth the worth the risk, I think. Um, destroy, can't move it with you. Um, again, we look better. Hope a lot of this goes in our favour because we, we are spread pretty thin. We're leaving this guy alone. This is obviously untouched, which is unfortunate, but I think we're going for more valuable targets right now. So I think that should probably do it, actually. Um, yeah. One last scan over the uh, the empire. To be fair, actually, what we could have done there with there was a transport. That was a misplay. I think I probably should have built the transport straight away to keep shipping troops in. Yeah, that was a mistake, actually. Oh well, not a problem. I forgot the old uh, Japanese opening rules. All right, let's try it. Let's try it. See how lucky we get. Come on, India. Big rolls. Come on, big rolls. Let's go for it. Bombardment. Okay, that's hit. Good. No hits from the air defense. Good. One hit, good. Oh, it's looking good. Oh, it's looking very good. Whoa, clean take. <laughs> no way. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. Well, that's a good start. <laughs> I will definitely take that. Okay. Okay, good bombardment. Good hits there. Pretty solid. Oh, good hits back, though. So we've still got the advantage. One hit there. Good. Yeah, pretty sweet. That was couldn't ask for better really. We've got an infantry. Sorry, an artillery free there to move up. To take Russia's um back provinces out. Okay, it's the naval battle. Okay, one hit, we'll take out the sub, I guess. Or we'll carrier, no the carrier. Good hits. So perfect. Okay, um, yeah, we'll just screw them. That's fine. Okay, so that's just a delaying tactic against America. It's a fairly even trade, it wasn't too bad. Okay, so the Asian provinces now. Perfect. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. This one will be nice to win as well. <laughs> okay, not too bad. 
Okay, so summary. Um, yeah, not too shabby. Americans lost 50 IPC, we lost 50, but we took a fair... Yeah, we, we did uh, a fair amount of damage to the Allies there, I would say. Um, the one problem we've got now, obviously, is though we, we can't leave India completely secure. We're probably going to have to lose it, but that's a good thing. I mean, we'll, we'll, he'll probably attack with this infantry and these two planes and retake it. Um, but then what I'm hoping is we can just, yeah, we can just chip things back in. Let me take it again, because we've got three planes sitting nearby. I'm going to keep this one fourth nearby. Um, aircraft carrier as well over here. Get you moving up. Um, so I think what I would imagine Matt might do now, he might ship in, he will take it back. I oh, know he can't, can he? I was thinking he was going to reinforce with some of the um, the Allied units, but they can't actually do it. So it's, it's it's going to be on Britain alone to retake it, and then we can just retake back. So I think India is lost, I'll be honest, unless we get very unlucky with rolls. I don't think there's a way of holding that. He can't ship in any troops because we've got battleship, battleship and aircraft sitting in there. So there's no way in for that. Yeah, he can, yeah, can only attack with one infantry and then these two fighters. What might have been a better move there actually for me was to not go for this. Maybe just stack it with another one possibly. Or, and, and, or maybe just leave it actually because it, it, was, it was okay as it was really. A bit risky but it was okay. And we could have taken this infantry out. Like taking away any chance of a counter attack so that probably was the better play there so yeah I, it wasn't a perfect move for me. Well, things I could have done better there, definitely. But overall, very happy with that first turn. Let's might as well just stack it with another uh, destroyer. Let's put keep you in range of things. Okay, let's move you to the main fleet as well. So what I'll have to do next turn, assuming Matt retakes, is we'll get this transport. We'll um, grab these guys from the East Indies, drop them back with a plane attack bombardment and. It should be India under car control, and from there we're going to immediately start shipping troops out to Africa because this is looks this looks fairly secure now. I think he's obviously sacrificed some defence in India for a stronger Egypt, which should, I think, looking back now, is a bit of a misplay. But I think we can't beat that with German troops, so we're going to have to just slip in around the back and just hope we can uh, take some things out here and separate them out a little bit because that's that's too strong to take on its own. We'll have to, uh, yeah, split them up a bit, but no, looking very good. So now this artillery piece is going to just start sweeping through. Um, I might drop a tank off actually as well. Drop a tank in here, let that blitz through a little bit. Put some pressure on the Russians from the back. Uh, we do need to deal with this though, all this stuff around here, because it's a bit annoying. It's going to probably take a few things around here. So we'll just drop this. So let's just uh, see it's turn done first. Is that everything? It's good. So drop the industrial complex there. Sweet. Yeah, so we'll keep churning out troops from here. Take out the remaining allied forces in Asia. Uh, sweep around the back. And then once we've got India secure properly, we can start, you know, crushing the, uh, the Russians from this side as well. Yeah, so pretty good turn, pretty good turn. I think round one overall then, I think um, fairly happy with it. This is a bit scary, I think that's the only thing I'm worried about. This this side of things is a little bit dangerous, because obviously we didn't take up the transports, which is a shame. Um, Matt's obviously now escalating in the uh, Atlantic, so we're going to have to be prepared for this. But I think, given how well things have gone here, we're going to be able to pressure Russia as well, very quickly. So we're going to take the pressure off uh, Germany and let them... Uh, Shore up their uh, western western fronts, but no, looking good, looking good. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll um, see you for the next video. Take care.